Good morning. Uh, my name is Mike Dugan, um, and I'm retired out of uh, FDNY. I retired uh, after uh, 27 years, and we're going to talk today about size up and situational awareness and changing our size up procedures as the buildings we operate in change and maintaining situational awareness. There are people out in the world today who say that you can lose situational awareness. You can't lose situational awareness unless you are dead. Okay, you have a situation, you think you're here, you might have a different awareness. I like to um, say that you could be driving down the road and it was a little foggy last night and this morning it's 28 degrees and you hit a bridge and there's ice on that bridge. Well, if you didn't anticipate that, you have crummy situational awareness right now and you hope nothing happens. But situational awareness, you're always aware of something. It's just maybe not what is important. So we'll talk about situational awareness later in the program, okay? What is size up? What is size up? The essentials of firefighting, the fourth edition, define size up as the following. While size up is initially the responsibility of the first arriving officer, all firefighters should look at the entire building and its surroundings as they approach. This is outdated. Size up to better enhance our safety, we've redefined it. We've made it size up as an ongoing evaluation of all problems confronted within a fire situation. Size up starts every day when you get up. What's the wind condition? What's the weather condition? If it's 98 degrees and 100% humidity, is that gonna change the way the people fight the fire? Then if it's 40 degrees, absolutely. There's a 15 mile an hour wind and you have a fire, whether it's a grass fire, whether it's a vehicle fire, whether it's a structure fire, it's still going to impact that. So your size up, you do size up every time you get up in the morning. What's the weather like? Okay, fire size up starts with the receipt of alarm and continues until all units have left the scene. This process is carried out many times by all firefighters and officers on the scene. 